Hi friends, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. So today is Friday. You guys are seeing this Saturday, which was is just tomorrow. I'm really like last minute filming this. I've been filming another video that you guys are gonna see Thursday, so I needed another one for tomorrow for today. So I decided that tonight I'm going to organize the kitchen cabinets. We have another cabinet that's in the kitchen from that time we went on a walk and there was like cabinets from the re uh, from the model homes on the side of this road. So we put one of those above the fridge in the kitchen. So I think I'm just gonna rearrange like where the appliances are, put stuff that I never use up there and then make like a separate little section for the dog and cat food and stuff like that. But I'll show you guys the before. So, and I'm also gonna do some other cleaning. I don't really know how much I'm gonna show you guys because cleaning videos I know they're great, but I am I use my phone to record, and it's kind of hard to have that much of a like space on a video because then I can't upload. You get the gist. So I'll show you the before and then during and stuff. I'm filming this intro before I go on my walk, so my hair is probably not going to look this great when I get back. So yeah, let's get into the video. So this is one of the cabinets that we picked up from the side of the road. So we just need a like crown molding on top and a little to fill the gap on the side over here. But that is empty, so I'm gonna put all like the appliances we don't use that often up there. This cabinet has the dog and cat food because the cat and dog food bowls are right here. The crock pot, like random stuff like that, and roasting pans and the ice cream maker. So most likely all this stuff will go up there. And then I'll put like the cat food, like the, what I use to refill those in those. I just have to figure out where everything's gonna fit. So this cabinet needs to be moved around. And then also this one over here is kind of like a catch-all, like dog and cat food, random small appliances. You can see like the tea kettle, my cold brew stuff, the grater, and then microfiber towels is consuming it. So I'm just gonna play around with it and see. Obviously I know that these, the cat food and dog food is gonna go on that one, but I just need to reorganize so it's more efficient. So this is the before of this. Before of this. And this one is completely empty inside. There is a hole, like I said, it's from the side of the road, don't judge, okay? No one's gonna see it. So hopefully, I'm thinking the smaller stuff's gonna have to go up here because it's kind of a small cabinet, but we'll just rearrange and see how how it goes. Here's that I have a helper. So I took everything out of this cabinet and I just put it on top of here. So it is kind of like bigger items that I think are gonna end up going over there. We're gonna see how this goes. I think I'm gonna take everything out and then wipe down the, wipe them down because I have like my rag and my cleaner but I think it'd be easier to take everything out to see what I'm working with. So let me do that first. Okay, everything's out of this one as well. Of course, Oliver is, has to check it out. So everything's on the counters. I have realized that I have things that I don't For example, use. that crock pot, that salad spinner, the push and shot chop, the cannoli tube thing. I actually did use that. That's actually convenient when, you, when I made cannolis. I don't ever use this roast pan. I don't think I've ever used it because I use this one. Oh my goodness, Alfredo's coming too? He never comes, okay. So now time, oh my God, that's why that shelf's gonna break. I'm gonna wipe everything down and then start putting it into designated areas. All these little things are gonna go in the one above the fridge because they're just too small to put anywhere else and maybe I'll actually use these and line the bottom with them we shall see if I feel like measuring and cutting probably not but let's get started I love this one so this is the one right here by the cats the dog food and cat food so I put their food here the extra food here behind it is the containers that we use when we go out of town like the they are like constantly, the constant feed containers, can't speak. The wet food, their flea medicine, 
tapeworm medicine, um, treats, and then extra treats. So it looks really nice and it's all in the same place if I'm looking for it. So happy with this, so, so happy. Okay, we have all the small appliances up here, including the ice cream maker, which I don't use. This is like the mixer thing. I just put it in a bag so it's all together. My push and chop, the coffee stuff, <laughs> the salad spinner, chopper, or no, the apple spinner thing, and just random stuff along with the cannoli stuff. So everything really fits nicely up here and it looks good. Okay, so here's this one, the one that's by the garage. So I just put the stuff that we use more often. We use our food processor a lot and the blender kind of, but it's just easy to go with it. That crock pot is behind it. Our Brita filter, this crock pot, the tea kettle, um, the grater, waffle maker, roasting pan, and the, um, the what are they called? Two liter containers? I don't know what they're called, I forgot. Pitchers, the pitchers, sorry. So everything that we kind of use a lot, so it's easy more roasting pans, our um, plastic silverware, and the microfiber towels that I use in the kitchen. These are the ones that go in the garage, so I'm just gonna put them in the garage. They're the dirty ones that just, I could wash them and they ended up back in the kitchen, so this is done. I did not end up putting these down just because I don't feel like it. I'm just gonna store these in the pantry for now just because they don't fit in here, so. It's looking good. I'm very satisfied with the reorganization. I'm just gonna record the outro while I'm here as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the cleaning organizing that I did today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. There will be another video on Thursday. It's gonna be like a week in my life eating low carb and it'll be like my weekly weigh-in. Um, the first one, I'm full on started a new journey and I'm doing whole different videos on that, so. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you very soon.